What's up guys, we are finally here, we are going to be talking about something that has been needing to be talked about, man, for uh, a good minute. Finally was able to watch Netflix, Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Finally. We were finally able to watch it. Uh, this movie, it, it didn't really disappoint, but at the same time, it was interesting by the way this movie went. Now, again guys, if you have not seen this, first off, I highly recommend you go see it. If you're a fan of Zack Snyder, fan of his work, especially uh, after the Justice League movie, go check this movie out and you may like it. Because again, I am not the biggest Zack Snyder fan, but again, this movie impressed me. It, it really, not only as a horror fan, as a zombie fan, as an action fan, it, it gave me almost everything that you could want in a movie. Now, some of it was kind of predictable. Now, we have in the entirety of this film where uh, the closest way I know how to describe this is Dawn of the Dead meets Suicide Squad meets, I would say, Resident Evil a little bit in a way. Because we have in the start of the movie where the military is taking on a convoy. Uh, we see another couple that got married. They're, they're trying to get it on in the car. And there's a collision course. And the thing opens up. And it's possible. What I'm obviously understanding is it was probably a military experiment gone wrong. That made a alpha type monster zombie. And it just starts spreading throughout Las Vegas. And we have this team that goes in and tries to kill as many, you know, zombies as they can and tries to get them out. And what we have is storage containers that are used on ships that are supposed to contain Las Vegas. Now, Dave, uh, Dave Bautista's team that he was leading, he does uh, lose someone in his team. And so we do see where he's flipping burgers at a burger joint. Everyone's doing their own thing. And we have uh, this character comes in, and uh, that is, uh, again, played by, uh, I, I can't remember, Harari uh, or Yuki. Um, we saw him, of course, in many movies. Great actor. Uh, we have where Dave Bautista is playing called Scott. He was a former, I, I'm former military, and he offers him $50 million to go in to Las Vegas, retrieve it, even with all these zombies, get someone in there. You got to have, of course, a there's going to be a helicopter weighing on the top of the Olympus building, as well as you got to have a safe cracker and a whole bunch of, of a big team to get in there. So one of them again is is my boy Amari uh, Hardwick from Power. He was in here. Uh, we also had Theo Rossi from Sons of Anarchy. He was in here. We had a long line of different actors in this film. Now, the film is about two hours long, or, or I would say over two hours long, and we have where they go in there, because two days ever says stories, we have where uh, we find out that Scott, you know, Dave Bautista's character, he, unfortunately, his wife got infected, he had to kill her, his daughter saw it, and one of them is working in a volunteer area near Las Vegas, and her friend wants to try to get money to get out of the area before the, before the military declares it a nuclear zone, and when that happens, she goes in there by a coyote that is able to get in, in and out of the quarantine zone, and then we have, of course, that's where Dave Bautista's team tries to go in there. Because we have him. We have another friend of his that was military. We have Omar's character. We have the, uh, the safe cracker. We have the one that can fly a helicopter. We got another character who was used uh, by uh, the, the one that's paying them in there. We have two, I would say, uh, almost YouTuber type of characters. And then we have, of course, the Aras character who is a guard at the uh, garden quarantine area who uses his status to get whatever he wants and then of course we have the character kate so obviously we have 10 different characters that go in this quarantine zone and when they go in there the one that's the coyote she informs them that things do not stay the same you know you have your normal zombies but you have these other zombies that are incredibly smart they know how to they know how to think like we see like the main one he's able to ride on a dead horse we see a dead horse we see a dead tiger that he uses within his army. He is the head zombie alpha, so to speak. And we see in the film, and spoilers, that he gets with this uh, random woman that is a zombie, and somehow or other we find out later on in the movie that she somehow was pregnant. So we don't know if she was pregnant before she was turned, or they got on while they were, well, you know, she was zombie, and of course he was. Obviously he was possibly former military, that's the reason why. Now, again, 
there's not a whole lot of action, but when we do get the action, it, it's the typical big explosions in a way, sort of like what we saw in Dawn of the Dead, Justice League, and Suicide Squad in a way. That's the closest way I know how to describe it. And it really did kind of feel like a Suicide Squad movie, but with zombies. And the reason why I say that is there was a lot of comedy in here. There was a lot of act. There was action. There was drama. There was a lot of different things in this film. But I think what really drew me to this film is that this world, you know, this quarantine world of trying to hold these zombies in a quarantine zone that you know sooner or later they're going to break out of. You just wonder, hey, can we survive this? And at the very close to the end of the movie when like half the team is dead because obviously, you know, we have the ones that want to use, you know, the money is, you know, the money is more important or they just want fame or they want this or someone's trying to do the right thing and, they're, they're, and their feelings get in the way or we have another one that's wanting to just, you know, create a zombie army and, that, and that's pretty much what the whole necessary of this mission was because they do find out later on in the film that the one that hired them, he had other teams go in there that they failed. And what they wanted was him to cut off the head of a uh, hybrid zombie. So that way he could test it and probably built, build his own zombie army as well without having the military's help. And that was the whole necessity of this film. And we have where uh, the character Kate, she her friend's in there. So she's trying to find her. And of course, Scott's got to go save her. And what's really crazy about this entire movie is the way they did it of course we all know that most everybody was going to die in this film unfortunately but we also get a whole lot of not really a backstory on these characters but more of a redemption story and Dave Bautista really did shine in this film he really did he really was the star of this film and I gotta give you know a clap and hands off to him he really did pull it really well and I would I, I would love to see more films of, of him like this you know it was a really interesting film to see him do something that had to deal other than just you know Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that it really gave him like that shine to really go in here and do something different you know really uh, badass dark horror type of vibe you know just that you know darkness type of vibe that really was working and again you know Zack Snyder's background doing John, Dawn of the uh, Dead and then now Justice League and doing all this stuff you know he has just that certain way about him that he can do well and I think that he did do well in this film uh, making this film but there is room for a sequel I don't want to give too much away but there is room for a sequel in this film trust me because I'm, I'm just going to say this we do have a character that survives but unfortunately at the very end of the film we realize he gets bit and he's out of the quarantine zone and he's on his way somewhere and he just looks and he's like oh crap so we know more than likely there's going to be another film at some point hopefully there will be there's no guarantee that there is but hopefully there will be another uh you know army of the dead 2 or or something of that nature but i, I like the whole las vegas theme you know and trying the whole thing of you got this long before there's a nuclear strike and you got to get this amount of money out and all this so it's really interesting to see how far they were willing to go with this film and i and i enjoyed it i really did now one out of ten, I give it maybe a an eight point five. And the only reason why I give it an eight point five is because I, I would like to see a little more action. Um I want to see a little more backstory on the characters that was in this film. And I wanted to see why these zombies were hybrids. You know, where exactly did the first zombie come from? Why was he like this? Why was they so strong? Certain zombies were stronger than the others. How exactly did they become like this? You know, did they just adapt? You know, what exactly happened? But those are just my thoughts. You know, they're, they're not big ones, but well, they are, but they're not, you know, depending on how you viewed the movie, but I would enjoy it when I watch it again. Yes, I would while I watch it like the next day or something, possibly. But it's one of those movies where, depending on how much you enjoy it, you can either watch it all the time or you can watch it here and there. But again, it's, you know, the viewer's choice. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. What did you guys think of Army of the Dead? Was it a pass? Was it good? Was it great? Was it okay? Did it suck? Would you guys like to see another one? I'd personally like to know your thoughts down in the comments down below. If you guys are new to channel, stay about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Also, click notifications so you guys are always notified that I upload. And also, let me know what you guys thought about the film, regardless. Let's have a great conversation down in the comments. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it great. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.